Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about notes. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, hi Frederick, my friend, should I stop note taking? I've written lots of notes, but I'd never read them. How do I, and how do I listen to class lectures and then afterwards retain the information taught in the lesson. I've written a lot of notes on HTML, CSS, SQL, PHP and etc. But I don't build any projects. But I do understand other people's code. What should I do? Well, uh, it's great to take notes. Uh, it's great to do these like tiny little tricks because that is after, after all what notes are really good at. Uh, helping you retain information that you learn but uh, something that I think that you should really start doing is to start making projects uh, as much as humanly possible like over and over and over and over because uh, the one part is just like we're gonna talk on, on two about two things that I think is really important to and this is something that I hope that even the more experienced developers will think about when they have new hires or if they're dealing with juniors or something like that. One part that benefits you a lot from just doing things, whatever it might be, is of course that you're going to embed that knowledge. But the other thing is that it's going to build confidence. There are a lot of people who are scared to do things when they're new at something. When I have trained software developers who are literally fresh out of school, they've never worked in the industry, they are scared shitless of doing most regular things, like they're scared of fucking up, they're scared of like touching things and so forth, because now there's there, there are stakes, there's prestige, there's all this pressure, right, to do the right thing. And everybody feels that to a certain extent, like whenever you're new at something or you're new in a job or whatever, like you want to show that you are a good hire, you're like a good coworker and so forth. And that puts on a lot of pressure when you don't know so much, uh, especially in that scenario. And so that's why I always, whenever I have a new hire, it, we sit down, like we do quite a lot of pair programming in the beginning and the all the coding is going through that individual the reason why like i i do we do that when i take the back seat and i just try to explain let's do that and then let's click on that and so forth and of course doing that in the nicest way possible so that they don't feel stressed like it's all about emotions here guys in the beginning it's that's all i care about i don't care about like uh, what you do what we what we're doing i don't care about how fast we're going none of that matters what's most important is comfort that needs to be established first because the person who is who is that green they're looking for confirmation someone to confirm that or acknowledge that they're doing the right thing so that they build confidence in the things that they are doing and that's something that everybody does it's like it's the same thing with children it's the same thing with anybody so that is something that i really think is important here uh, you need to do things because it builds confidence. If you only sit and watch lectures and tutorials and things like that, you're never gonna dare to become a software developer. Because and you're just you're, you, and it feels safe. It's not like I don't understand it. Like, I mean, I've done it many times with other stuff as well, where I just watch a bunch of videos on the thing, but I never really take the time to actually practice it or do anything with it. So I never build up any, like confidence with it. I don't actually do much with it. That's the one part. The other part is just that it's going to help you become a software developer much faster. The There is a lot of theory in software development, but the thing with this is that it's not a completely theoretical thing. It is something where you you really do combine theory with like concrete implementation and actual practical exercises because like you're using that theory to solve different problems in a sense it is like mathematics trying to solve problems with math where there's like you can study f math or whatever forever right but unless you start applying it well it's going to be just something that you read somewhere it's not going to give you any value and the retention is probably going to fade i mean i still 
to this day. Like I am the shittiest math uh, mathematician you've ever seen. And the reason is very simple because the last time I did any serious math apart from like watching some videos on some stuff that I still can't remember since like elementary school or like high school or college or whatever. Uh, the reason is because I never practice it. And it's the same for most people, I would guess. And that's the whole point, right? It like you watching all of these tutorials. That's that's it's supposed to give you the ability to write software, right? Or I think that's the the goal, right? So doing is always going to be better than studying, always. So try to get out of that um, what you're doing now, because my my guess here is that the reason why you're not building things is either because you're lacking ideas. I, and I don't think you have to be so afraid of that because like, you can do the smallest, silliest little thing in the world. That means start with getting, I don't know, a, a box, a square box, 100 pixels by 100 pixels onto a HTML page. Let's start with that, just see how that works and take it from there. You don't have to build the entire things right. Start somewhere. And the other thing that I, but I, the thing that I think is going on is a little bit, maybe, that confidence thing I was talking about, a little bit of pro procrastination because it's scary to take that step from theory and just being kind of a passive observer to being someone who's actively trying to do things because it's easy usually to just watch something and have something explained to you, kind of spoon, be spoon fed with information. That is the, that's very easy, but learning by trial and error, which is the thing that is going to make you a software developer, that's hard because now all of a sudden there are stakes even if i mean even if it's just you sitting by yourself uh, you now know that you're going to start messing up you can't mess up usually when you're watching a video or a tutorial but when you're actually trying to use that knowledge to make something then you're going to start messing up and that usually doesn't feel so good so what i want you to take away from this is that uh, notes are great it's great to watch tutorials and read about things and so forth but you have to practice what you what you read uh, i really urge you to get into the habit of making tiny little exercises for yourself take code katas or lead code types of things or do simple stuff like just you know, read an article about something like, I mean, CSS Tricks is a very good uh, magazine or it's a good uh, website to go to if you want tips on CSS. And they usually have like these, like they can go down to, we explain a single property, how that property works. Try it out, see how the property works, read some documentation, see if you can play around with it. Or do something as simple as putting a box on a page and take it from there, or in PHP, just try to echo back a command or like make a hell world thing start really really small no pressure and see how that goes and then when that is done you put that in github or you throw it away you never use it again and then you'd make the next thing and then the next thing and then the next thing and when you've done a hundred products you're going to start to realize that well the products are now becoming more and more complicated and you're becoming more and more confident in the skills that you acquire. The thing that you really need to understand though is that the doing is the thing that is going to give you confidence in what you, in yourself. The, the theory will never give you that. Doing will give you that confidence. But that's also probably the reason why a lot of people feel a little bit scared. Because doing means that you can fail. And that's the whole point. If you fail and try and try and try again, you will s sooner or later succeed. And that is the life of a software developer, my friend. That is what you're getting into. Being a software developer means failing many, many, many times until you get something right. Have a great day.